Okay, my next step will be to scan for coils. So, um, <clears throat> I will be using a generic scan tool at this time. Can scan and find, find the coils. He already told me he had replaced two times two different shops at the vehicle speed sensor and still having the same coil and the same issue. So basically, let me see, DTC and Echo 3, 1, red not completed 3. So we have three monitors having complete. Very important step for what we're doing and what he's paying for. Okay, let me check for code, read codes. P0500, generic vehicle speed sensor A, current. Vehicle speed sensor, okay, P0500. Hmm. Never saw that before. This is giving me some information. I don't know what I did. Oh, it's transmitting vehicle speed echo in the way they. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Uh, it's generic information, so it's, it's not good for this vehicle. Um, the monitors. This is very important. I'm redness. Things need to see we're clear. See? It's fire okay, okay. We have a catalytic incomplete. This vehicle doesn't monitor the EVAP system. You see earlier, you know, like see there um catalytic converter uh EVAP system not applicable oxidation sensor and catalytic incomplete and EGR incomplete. So we have three monitors open the computer having been able to test why because the computer is not detecting speed is speed signal. So the criteria for running those monitors is um, certain speed, RPM and other criteria, temperature. It cannot cannot run those monitors because of uh, it's not detecting the, the speed, vehicle speed. We're gonna analyze what's gonna happen or how how we're gonna test the system here. Okay, what's checking with customer history? I was asking him what type of work is, is being done on it or um, you know mainly what he wants is to have the small uh, check inspection here in California to be done which is done every three years he wanted to have that pass and he, it is not able to pass because he has the check engine light on and then also he ha is not able to run the monitors three monitors we saw open EGR uh, <coughs> auto sensor and catalytic converter okay <coughs> well uh, he, he he told me the SP vehicle speed sensor has been replacing two shops and he was told it's computer issue. Okay, and I asked him well, what computer is, is the problem. He said I don't know. But however, what I wanted to be clear here is this: he's paying me to fix the check engine light, so he wants me to fix the check engine light. That way he can pass a small. But he doesn't know how a monitor system works. Okay, I told him. I will be fixing this issue here for the vehicle speed, for sure I can fix it. But I told him because the computer doesn't know, the TCM, PCM doesn't know what speed we, the vehicle is running, so it cannot run those monitors because some of the criteria for those monitors to run is to have certain speed, RPM, temperatures and stuff. Right now. We have no speed, so the computer doesn't know what speed, never run those monitors. What's gonna happen when I fix this issue? Now it's gonna get speed and gonna start testing those systems, running those monitors. And I told him there is the potential when he runs those monitors, we have an issue in one of those systems, which we don't know right now because the computer has been able to test it. So I'm just covering myself because this has happened before. And after I fixed something like this, I have got a bunch of code for different, different system and the customer, if he's not aware of this, they're telling you you don't know what you're doing or they, they don't really understand what's going on behind it. So I'm just trying to protect myself here. Okay, so the next step will be to drive the vehicle and then be monitoring, I will be monitoring the vehicle speed sensor speed on the scan tool so which this is information is coming from me from the PCM and then we'll be watching the speedometer apparently that one is reading and then we're gonna be analyzing how the system works how to troubleshoot and what will be the fixed ok 
okay we have the check engine light on and uh, we can see the cluster there is showing uh, zero miles per hour I'm not moving the vehicle right now and then I will be showing here the scan tool it's uh, I got three pins here rpm vehicle speed and auto sensor well no relevant to have those so basically the only one I need is the vehicle speed sensor but I have those so I'll start moving the vehicle Let's see the rpm when it's started moving no vehicle speed uh, detected on the computers then we can see here on the cluster I'm having some speed here Tool. and I have connected here the multimeter to the wire attached to the three computers supplies there with the three computers uh, PCM, TCM and also the vehicle speed or whatever they call so we're gonna analyze that data and see why it's not reporting that to the computer okay. there are three places where I got the, the information here let's see what's going on here okay there are three places where I got the information was uh, Mitchell uh, all data and identifix so all of them I can have different information but this one was coming from uh, uh, from a uh, direct hit from a uh, Identifix, which is OEM information, so probably this is one of the most um, information I found was like uh, kind of the most well, explanatory, but it still it didn't have what I wanted to. But look, so according here, we have the vehicle the speed sensor here. Okay, it's sending that signal here to the instrumental cluster on the pin three signal speed signal input okay and then it give you a brief description there how this what it does the speed sensor which is that's good okay then the instrumental cluster so we're talking about here the tree is coming here so the instrumental cluster will be <coughs> um, basically uh, let's say processing this input signal and send it to the cluster and also to the, to the computers so here we have the signal that will be going out uh, this is kind of nice here so the speed signal out on pin 4 see and to axle control module TCM uh, speed control module and the power and the power train control module so he's telling you a little bit about the power how, how he uses this signal okay speed control module what it does okay and What the TCM use this computer did this this signal for, okay? But basically, well, how the system works, it doesn't tell you exactly how, how the how the instrumental cluster, what, what type of job the instrumental cluster does. So I was trying to find that information, I couldn't. So I'll explain you how do I how do I know this system works? Okay, they have replaced two times the speed sensor signal, and well the cluster all the time is reading when you're driving on the road you can see the speed you're driving but looking at the scan tool <coughs> you see zero, zero, RP, zero speed all the time so what happened is they're sending a signal here and the instrumental cluster has an internal a like a transistor or whole effect sensor which creates a digital signal and that's this digital signal is transmitted to the uh, vehicle speed sensor I mean to the cluster the one is like a gauge measuring the speed and also the other leg is has to be sent out to the three computers so the, the because people were looking at the speed sensor 
you know, the, the, the cluster was reading, they thought, you know, that the cluster is good, and they said it's got to be computer, but they don't know that this one is doing two jobs, receiving the signal from the, from the vehicle speed sensor, translating that signal, transmitting that signal to two devices, computers and a cluster. Okay, cluster is good, but uh, the other signal coming to the powertrain control module and the other two computers is not there. How does this work? Okay, this way. The, the One of these computers, I don't know which one, probably the speed control module, I think, or PCM, I don't know which one, produces 12 volt signal, which is uh, like, a, like a reference signal, it's sent out to the cluster. When the cluster detects speed, <coughs> pulls that down to a zero, to a zero volt. So 12 volts, every time it's detected speed, it's gonna do this, like a electrical switch, boom, contact, close, open and close. So that one, depending on the frequency that one is repeating, is gonna be detected in difference in speed. So this is what, I'm, what, I'm, what we're gonna do right now. <laughs> I'm gonna go and be connected at the PCM right now here then I'll have connected also right here the multimeter so we can see the voltage is being produced by, any, by, by one of these computers I don't know which one it doesn't matter at this point so and then I will be connecting the test light to a ground and I will be simulating the job the instrumental class that should be doing sending that signal out of two to three computers at the same time we're gonna be monitoring the scan tool speed for speed so that way we can see you know if the computers are able to detect that speed so if we see that there that means all these computers are receiving that signal and we have a good wire and then what we got left is the instrumental cluster I'll go and, and jump to there <laughs> okay so right now I'm here with Okay, I'll be connecting my test light to ground. Okay, because I'm I'm gonna be simulating with with a test light that work is gonna be doing the um, instrumental cluster. So then you can see here is being 12 volts or like a 12 volts. All this touch on and off right here. can see there okay okay voltage is being produced so now we're going to select a peel here I'll go to uh, data stream uh, we'll, we'll select specific only one speed sensor speed signal is the only one we need um, we'll select only that one Vehicle speed. Oops. Okay. And then I have the, the engine running right now. Um, okay. I'll all be touching on and off here. See, I'm producing the, the, the speed there. I on, I am on and off. Okay. And how quickly I do it, I increase the speed. So how is that detected, you know? Depends, I'm doing like very slow right now, you see? Uh, do quickly okay basically what we have wrong here is the instrumental cluster okay I'm gonna be explaining how, how in more detail how that works on the wiring diagram for people wanted to know how, how troubleshoot and like it have a deep understanding of this but for those people who just wanted to know 
what's gonna fix it is the instrumental cluster only. Other way how I make them work sometimes is just tapping on it, like here while we're driving. Looking at the scan tool right now, nothing happens. So nothing happened here. I'm expecting to see some type of speed sensor while I'm driving like this. But I didn't see anything. But sometimes it works tapping on those. <coughs> this information is coming from Nichol. And how this system works. Okay, everything starts here. Vehicle speed sensor, producing signal when the vehicle is moving, coming on the pin 3B. I think it's 3B. Let's see here. What is it? Oh, 3B. Let me look for that one here. I wanted to see that here. Oh, right here. Vehicle speed in. Yeah. See the signal start here. This one converts the AC sine wave signal into a digital and it's sent out here three places 4B and internal to the cluster the speedometer so that one is working the speedometer right here is gonna be some break in some play here 4B is coming to right here 4B coming to three computers how the system works, they don't tell you who produces the signal and which one is pulling that voltage down. So basically, any of these three computers is producing the signal coming on the 4B and then internal here on the cluster, that one should be pulling down that voltage. Every time this is detecting vehicle speed, it should do something like this internal, like a electronic um, switch. On and off, on and off, depending how quickly that one, the frequency repeat, is going to increase in speed. So we have some break internal here, so defective um, instrumental cluster. Check engine light back on after replacing the instrumental cluster. Still one monitor having rain. 